Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have V10 and some important information. Before we begin, join the monthly subscription. I have the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get easy, easy profits with the automated system and the manual system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins, but it doesn't stop there. You will also get personal guidance, educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis, market updates, and many, many more benefits. I am here every day to guide you. And of course you can cancel anytime you like. So try it out before it is too late. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Join our Telegram group chat and hit the like button, subscribe if you like the content. Let's see right here a little bit about VTAIN. So we are getting close into the four hour frame at around eight cents. Maybe it is the time to buy right here on the short mid term. We will analyze everything. The first target we are looking at is the 10 cents around this area okay so we have a second target at around 11 cents and the 11.9 12 cents so these are our targets right here for the short mid term you can see that we are on a descending wedge v10 is going down all the way and it has dropped around 50 percent that is a huge drop from v10 and now we're looking forward maybe to get higher and to build up a little bit okay so let's go right now to the magdi to see the magdi the magdi is a little bit undecisive indecisive right here you can see that we are having some lower highs and some higher lows we are going a little bit sideways we need just to see the blue line going above the signal line and of course following all the way upwards surpassing this red line right here okay so we need to surpass this red line and we go upwards so the price will follow as well let's go to the risk metrics you can see first of all that the 50 day ma is a resistance level and every time we get a little bit above we have a huge sell pressure so it wasn't the right time to get in right there okay it wasn't the right time to get on v10 however on the four hour frame right now you can see that we have an overbought situation on the stochastic side not an overbought situation with any other risk metric but fisher transform is going into an overbought as well okay so we have to be a little bit careful but for the time being we do not hold any extreme risk where i want to go right now is on the daily frame and this is the most interesting part okay we had 20 day ma crossing down the 50 day ma but at the same time we might be having something that we call bullish rsi divergence a higher low on the daily and the lower low on the daily as well you can see the price right here and the rsi a higher low so therefore maybe it is a good time to buy as the uh fisher transform is in an oversold situation as well we might be getting a little bit lower okay it isn't necessary that we hold this position however on the midterm i really believe and i really think that we are getting uh, even higher than this price we are right now okay so you will win eventually you will win even on the short term if we go a little bit down you will be a winner okay and of course you can see that on the daily frame we do not hold any overbought situation any any risk metric at all let's see a little bit the sl hybrid in case we had a good buying opportunity we had a buying opportunity right here not a selling opportunity yet as i told you in this correction this sell hybrid has been doing pretty badly okay and you should not be following it you can see buying here opportunity selling here we were in a loss now we are in a loss again and you should not follow uh the sl hybrid on the daily frame let's open up a little bit the bulger bands you can see that we are riding the bottom line this is what happens in a very bearish market we are riding down the bottom line and it has an angle like this a downfall you can see here same with the top line it is going down and of course it is not the right time to get in of course we have the bullish or say divergence but anyway you should observe the market right now bitcoin bitcoin chart on the four hour frame as you can see it has gone into this support level that we want it is near the support level that we want right now for bitcoin against bitcoin chart and in overall i do think that this pinned target right here it wasn't random okay i do believe that we might be getting there i know it is hard for you but yeah in the mid long term we might be getting there we will see about that though on the short term everything is good because we are approaching this extreme extremely useful support level right here we want to approach it so we can have 
a little bit of a buying pressure and outperform Bitcoin. Okay, you can see that we are consolidating for so long right now. Return against Bitcoin has dropped uh, since the 10th September around there. No, since 4 September, it has dropped around 34.63% percent okay that is huge for v10 against bitcoin we need maybe to find a double bottom around here and eventually go upwards okay that's what we need to do and let's go on the daily frame maybe we have something that we like right here yeah maybe we have a bullish rsa divergence on this daily and on this daily as well if we stop above the previous one on 20 july it will be very very good and if we get a little bit of a lower low right here and stop in a higher rsa it would be good and we can eventually outperform bitcoin in the next few days okay so let's go to the price analysis and you can see right here that in my opinion even if you buy around this area you will be a winner okay in the next days you will be a winner maybe not on the very very short term but in the next days you will be a winner if you buy around here okay so if you have some usdt available just buy a few amount this is a personal suggestion not a financial advice of course and you can see that the next price target 10 cents to 10.2 and we have the 11 cents around there okay here we are and the 11.9 12 cents okay as our midterm targets of course that is if we surpass the first target right here which is a huge huge resistance level and of course we need to go even even higher as for bitcoin right now it made a nice movement to the upwards but that doesn't mean that we are going all the way upwards from now on okay we need to be safe and of course we need to observe the market for now not making any rush movement patience is the key for success in the cryptocurrency market you always know that and of course you can see that vitin right now is battling to go a little bit higher we have dropped so much over the last few days and it is very very i think it is very healthy and logical to have a major swing high soon for vitin okay so do not forget to join the monthly subscription i have the link in the description down below buy me a cough slash mind your crypto you will get easy profits with an automated and manual system and you can cancel anytime you like try it out right now in the description box and of course see you soon with many many more videos bye